Hey everybody, Wyatt here from Country Road Rail Productions. I'm here in Hopedale, Ohio on Wheeling and Ligiri's Rook Subdivision, the East End. Um, I got off of the highway. Crossovers line reverse. Repeat, Hopedale crossovers line reverse. Out. We have a train coming back from Waco West. The signals, the um, siding signal has went to a uh, red light in the middle. And the signal on the left has went to a yellow. And the switch is lined reverse. They're going to shove a train of tanker cars down there from Waco West, down here off the main line, down here off of the main line, and they're going to shove it through the crossover into Waco siding. I'm not sure on this or not, but I'm pretty sure this is Brewster to Hopedale train 214. This might be train, uh, or Rook to Brewster train 213, I don't know, just dropping tankers off, I have no idea, but I will go ahead and uh, pause the video when I see them coming around the corner. All right, guys, they're coming around the corner. The conductor is riding on the back. This is probably the closest I have actually ever gotten to this railroad crossing. And I normally set up right over there in the little open spot, but I actually got I actually get closer this time, so. Signal should activate any minute. We're getting close. There they go. That's sick. General signal take two electronic bell again. I don't know if it's just me, but that crossing bell just sounds sick. And here they come. Thank goodness I have a scanner because this thing really helps me out a lot in my railroading adventure here, whatever you want to call it. Launching cars. <laughs> and he's dismounting. That is something, da it's a dangerous thing to do, but it's exactly what railroaders do. He's the guy right there you're hearing on the scanner. Communication with the uh, train crews up in the locomotive. And he's, this is only a single crossover, not a double crossover, so he is crossing over from the main line into Waco siding. If he was in Waco siding needing to cross over to the main line, he would either have to go up there to Waco West switch to the single track, or he would have to reverse uh, past Waco siding and past the signals and crossing to switch onto the main line. I caught a train here last night, and the video didn't really turn out all that great, so I am not going to upload it. <laughs> it's like 50 degrees out here in this fall, final day of September evening. And I do not have my jacket with me, and it is freezing. <laughs> Who's cruising back into that siding? about how fast I normally see him go through here. <laughs> Funny thing that actually happened yesterday while I was here, or last yesterday evening while I was here filming, uh, I think the same exact operation, uncoupling from, uncoupling from their train and heading back towards Brewster. The engineer did not blow the horn for this crossing, which is kind of a surprise to me because every train I have filmed here, they always blow the horn. I discovered this train over while I was on uh, State Route 22, and I uh, was crossing over it, seeing that there was two, uh, both tracks had tankers on them, and you normally don't see that unless there's a train here doing switching, and so I decided to head up here to Oakdale, we'll wait a couple minutes and they finally came, and then that's when the uh, radio controlled signal went to a yellow on the track the train is on, and to a red on the siding track and it's yellow on the main line for the train backing over and the reason the signal on the siding is red is because the train's switching that track these signals will eventually drop to red and then the uh 
they'll go back to green when the train leaves. And then they'll eventually just go back to red altogether until they're controlled again by the radio. And here comes the head end with two SD40 locomotives. <laughs> <coughs> These Wheeling and Lake Erie locomotives right here, these ones are uh, from different leasing companies. This yellow one, I do not know what company it's from, but the green and gray one I know is a leased FURX unit. <laughs> $69.96 $69.85. Shoving them through the crossover. I don't know if I'll be able to hang around to see them leave because they will leave momentarily. They'll uncouple and then they'll head back towards Brewster. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to uh, stay and watch them because I have frozen food in my vehicle. So, <laughs> there get the gates up. I love this wide angle fisheye view because it actually gives you a full view of the whole crossing without having to like point at different signals. That, that was just bizarre. Not the first time I've seen the crossings do that, but... He's fully in Waco siding now, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, end the video in case I am unable to stay. If you guys enjoyed, please do me a favor and punch the like button and subscribe for more. And also hit the post notification bell to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Red Rail Productions. Out. Alright guys, they are pulling forward, handbrakes are set, cars are uncoupled, and they are running engines light with the buffer car to head back towards Brewster. At least that appears to be what they're doing. I'll pause it until they actually start moving. Alright guys, here they come. These radio controlled signals should go to green. Watch this guy, watch this guy run it. Good, he's, no, no. <laughs> he, does, he just turns around, he does not want to wait. Wow. People do not know how to wait for trains these days. Watch the signals go back. Oh, we go west switch. There go the gates. The signals have dropped to red. Let's catch and see if that does that little light malfunction. Never mind, I ain't doing it. There it goes. Hannah West switch is line normal. Repeat the W and L E. Hannah West switch is line normal. Out. Okay. There it goes. The crew of the train. Safe trip to. I think it's the crew of train 214. normal. Out. All right. Safe trip to the crew of train 214, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Road Rail Productions. Out.